Welcome to our exploration of GMO and ethical consumerism. Today, we'll dive into the complexities of genetically modified organisms, GMOs, and how they intersect with our values as consumers. Let's begin by understanding what GMOs are and why they matter. Genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, are plants or animals whose DNA has been altered through genetic engineering. The goal is to enhance certain traits, such as resistance to pests or improved nutritional content. GMOs have become a staple in modern agriculture, aiming to boost yields and address food security. Proponents of GMOs argue that they offer numerous benefits. For instance, GMO crops can lead to increased agricultural efficiency, reduced need for pesticides, and the potential for crops with enhanced nutritional profiles. This can be particularly significant in regions facing food shortages. However, the debate surrounding GMOs is far from straightforward. Critics raise concerns about potential long-term health effects, environmental impact, and ethical considerations. Some worry about the reduction in biodiversity and the concentration of market power among a few large biotech firms. I try to avoid GMO products because I'm concerned about their impact on health and the environment. I prefer organic and non-GMO labeled products whenever possible. Many of these concerns are addressed through rigorous testing and regulation. However, transparency in labeling can help consumers make informed choices based on their values and preferences. This brings us to ethical consumerism. Ethical consumerism involves making purchasing decisions based on a range of factors, including environmental impact, animal welfare, and social justice. For many, this includes choosing non-GMO and organic products. When it comes to GMOs, ethical consumers often look for certifications such as the non-GMO Project Verified label or organic certification. These labels can provide assurance that products meet certain standards. Beyond individual choices, ethical consumerism also involves supporting policies and practices that align with one's values. This could mean advocating for stricter regulations on GMOs, supporting local and sustainable agriculture, or engaging in community discussions about food production. Supporting local farmers and sustainable agriculture can also be a way to align your purchasing power with your values. By choosing locally grown produce, you can contribute to a more resilient and diverse food system. In the end, the choices we make as consumers reflect our broader values and priorities. Whether you choose to embrace GMOs, avoid them, or seek out products with specific ethical certifications, it's important to stay informed and make decisions that resonate with your own principles. Thank you for joining us in exploring GMOs and ethical consumerism. 
Remember, every choice we make has an impact, and staying informed is key to making decisions that align with our values. Until next time, stay curious and thoughtful about the food you consume. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on pressing issues in our world.